Matt, uh, it's kind of the second fight number two of your comeback. Uh, we yeah. didn't get to talk to you really too much around the last one. Um, mm -hmm. Can you just tell me what it's like just being back in the UFC and you know going through the fight week process that is, I imagine, so different from what you're doing before from you know Reebok and USADA, all these different elements. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think all the change is good change. Um, I think it's more professional. Um, I like I like all the change. Um, regarding my comeback, I don't feel like. Um, uh, you know, you can claim a comeback until I win on Saturday. Then that'll be a comeback. Um, yeah, so so uh, I came back, I got beat up, and I'm actually grateful that Pina reintroduced me to high-level fighting and um, challenged me to be resilient. And uh, And I'm grateful to be here. Yeah, uh, what was it like just you know, being going through that fight? Because I'm sure you, I'm sure you sparred, you trained yeah. however you need to train leading up, but actually be in there, you know, in front of the crowd, the lights, yeah. all those things. Um, was it different than you remembered it or thought it was going to be? Yes and no. Uh, it was painful. Uh, you know, I I, I I was given a list of people coming off losses um, for this comeback. Mm -hmm. And I was like, this is going to be um, challenging either way. You know, I want someone with momentum. And uh, I, I took a big bite. And, um, you know, this is me still chewing. Yeah. And it lets you know where you stand, too, right? Like, right away. Well, yeah. And, and like I said, it, it um, yeah, it threw me into uh, deep water. And, um, you know... Uh, yeah, I've, 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 oddly, I feel like sometimes I learn going backwards. So, um, you know, see, see the hardest thing first. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that's, that's what happened. Yeah. Was it always part of the plan that, you know, regardless of how that fight went to, you know, do another one right after? Or did that, was it just, we're going to see how this goes? And yeah, then... maybe like one step at a time, because it's, it's such a wild and, and crazy thing. Like TJ Grant... You know, uh, for example, no one even knows that name anymore. Yeah. And he was, he got a title shot and um, in, injured in training, never fought again. I don't think that's very, uh, let me, you don't want to live your, li your, your life like it's your last day because that's unreasonable and that's not practical. But with fighting, it's, it's very wild. And um, I think it, it's nice to take one step at a time. I, I, I wouldn't have liked to do all that work to, um, for one or two fights, but um, if that's you know, what's healthiest and best for my family, so be it. But yeah, I didn't, I didn't do all that work um, yeah, for one or two fights. Yeah, so like after the last one, do you know right away, like I, I want to get back and do this again you know, as soon as I can? Um, yes, because uh, the the outcome, you know, if I would have, you know, um, done significantly better, uh, well, I don't know, <laughs> it might have, yeah, it, it's hard to, it's hard to put the, uh, it, you know, I, I guess it's hard to, um, uh, piece things together like that. Right. So is that what you're looking for right now? Like, are you just searching for a win? Is that just like what, what you not want? A, not a win. I mean, the win is about? nice. Uh, the win is nice because it leaves a good taste in your mouth. Mm -hmm. And um, that's, what we, that's what we strive for because that's what we respect. Nobody respects someone with uh, a mentality that's not going for the, for the win. Um, just to survive, just to compete at the highest level, just to get by. That's not what I respect. Um, we go out there and, and we try to beat the other person, and um, that's when we're gonna. That's what I'm gonna do, and and I think I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to do. But um, I mean, and, and if we're talking about coming back, it's not just to get a win. Um, it's to uh, do a job. Yeah. So it's like to compete routinely. Like you want to be back being a UFC fighter, right? Like being active and competing. It, it, and as, as long as I can. Yeah. yeah it, I'd like to um, uh, not take it to an unhealthy place, but it's pretty unhealthy what we do anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, not not to an unhealthy place. But if I can compete at the highest level, I'm going to. And um, if I can't, then um, 
we could talk about it next chapter. Yeah, and just a couple last things. Um, what what was the ultimate motivation? I mean, you're you're gone for about five years, and then you decided to return. Was was there something that happened that sparked that? Or? Yeah. Um, so I got the opportunity to train again, and uh, um, yeah, basically I just had the opportunity and uh, that I hadn't had before um, with surgeries and outside obligations, and. Uh, each day was a challenge. I, th I thought each day might be my last. Um, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not coming back to the gym. And somehow I managed to put in a camp. Yeah, I got beat up, but um, uh, I put my neck out there and and, um, and I did it. And uh, yeah, sorry, what was the question again? No, it was just, uh, you know, like why you all, like did something oh, happen yeah, that ultimately um, sparked the decision to come yeah, back? Yeah, absolutely. Like I said, I had the opportunity and, and personal, personal reasons. Uh, uh, I got obligations, financial obligations, and and uh, I know this. It's not all about money, but um, you have to have a job, and and uh, I'm good at what I do, and if I can continue to do it at the highest level. I I think that's the what I'm supposed to be doing. Yeah. What was there a point during that time where you were like was uh, had accepted the fact you were probably going to be done, and this might not happen for you again? I think as time went by. Um, each day was kind of the door shutting a little bit more. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to shut the door completely and um, uh, want to leave the door open, you know, cracked. But yeah, it seemed more far-fetched as time went on. Um, but then, you know, um, I had the opportunity. I, I, I didn't really need any more surgeries. I didn't... Um, um, is, yeah, piss to get off the pot time, and um, you know, instead of questioning it, I I showed up to the gym and um, gave it a proper try, and felt like I could compete at the highest level, and um, and then try to prove it. Yeah. So coming into this fight, how different do you feel? I mean, I'm sure to be able to, you know, the last training camp, you're probably just working out all the kinks, and now it's kind of like back yeah. in the full groove. Do you feel, uh, you know, maybe more prepared, sharper, anything like that for this one compared to the last time? I do feel less rusty, <laughs> and uh, yeah, uh, I think practice makes better, and I was out of practice. Yeah, fair enough. And in terms of the match, I mean, did, was it one of those things that didn't really matter to you? They gave you a name and mattered a little bit. But this, there's some benefits to this guy. He's coming off a win. Um, young guy can kind of maybe a little bit of a redo to my last one, mm -hmm. and um, it's the only fight I could get before the end of the year. <laughs> and uh, yeah, he's got some momentum. Um, respectable guy, and. Uh, yeah, there's, a, there's a, uh, plenty of pros to this fight. Awesome. And just last thing I wanted to ask you, it's kind of similar to what I said at the beginning, yeah. but the sport's changed. You're easy to talk to, so you're not, you're not, you're not um, putting me out by any means. Awesome. Thank you. Um, yeah, just what's, what do you kind of make of when you look at the sport? I mean, you're, you're a guy, you, you like to kind of keep to yourself. Uh, it doesn't seem like you have any social media and stuff like that, but the sport's changed a lot. Mm -hmm. And when you look at it compared to when you were fighting, uh, you know, in the early 2010s, mm -hmm. all that kind of stuff. Um, do you do you like where you know the sport is? Do you think MMA is in a good place? Um, yeah, it does. It it does seem more professional. I like that for sure. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I think I think it's all good change. Uh, get paid more, and um, you know, a, a, a classy sponsor. You know, um, that pays well as well. And uh, I think it's all good change. I mean, um, I mean, I don't know. What are people not liking? No, I mean, some maybe people don't like you know the trash talk or the way some fights. Oh yeah, and stuff like that. The, uh, promote. Oh, that yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, I mean, the glass is half full and the glass is half empty. The empty, if if we if we get away with it, would probably be the disrespect. Mm -hmm. um, and it's all fake anyways, because as soon as that bell rings, people respect their opponent. Um, and again, you know why? It's actually the UFC's fault. They're on paper saying that bad blood, good business. That's absolutely not true. You are, um, you are investing in a negative 
force there. Bad blood is not good business. I mean, yeah, it might sell sell more, but money isn't the most important thing, and um, I think ethics are. And uh, good blood is good business. Uh, you know, it's uh, and what we do is kind of nuts, but there's still respect and um, uh, admiration for, um, you know, doing something this extreme and, and um, unique. And just last thing, um, you know, you were gone for a long time. There was a lot of fans that were wondering about you, a lot of fans that, uh, you know, especially around the last fight too, where we didn't get to cheer too much for you. Is there anything else that maybe I didn't touch on that you want to share with the supporters who have stuck with you even when you were gone for five years and who are still here today and maybe just, you know, anything yeah. that you haven't shared that, you know, they should maybe know? Oh, uh, well, you know, uh, I, I, I like inspirational stories because it's like a cold or anything else that spreads. Inspiration spreads. Um, and people inspire me and I hope I can inspire some people. Um, I don't normally read things because, you know, uh, it's, a, it's a losing battle reading other people's opinions about you. Right. Uh, I did see one guy say that he's not counting this dog out. And uh, I think that's well said, and I, and I agree with him.